Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Well, you voted from the package that I received from Lego and you overwhelmingly voted for me to build first this Lego creator set, the Winter Village train station. So even though it's not Christmas anymore, it's still winter if you live in the Northern Hemisphere. Of course, I live in the Southern Hemisphere, so it's really hot summer here. But I'm gonna dream about winter while we build this train station. So we've got some pieces of track. We've got quite a few bags and they are numbered one and two. So there's gonna be a lot of pieces in each bag. There are actually 900 pieces in this set and there are two books. So let's get our trees out So we've got a bit of background there make it a bit interesting and we'll meet our minifigures first up We've got we've got an older an older lady here with lovely long gray hair in a plait She's wearing some nice warm snuggy cardigan there and she's got her suitcase and some money for the train fare, which is hopefully not that much. <laughs> now we'll put her up here, and so she's not lonely, Emma's gonna come in and chat with her while we build the other minifigures. So this person has got black pants and is also all warmly rugged up against the cold. He's got a beard to keep him warm, and a scarf, and a black beanie. And he's gonna be in charge of driving the village bus when we build it. And here's some short legs. So this little guy is going to be, well, a little guy is going to be a kid and he's got freckles and he's got a cap and he's ready to go on a voyage with his grandma, I think. All right. First part of the actual build are a couple of Christmassy lamp posts. Well, posts, because there's going to be two of them. So here's the first one with its wreath on it. It's so festive and so cold looking. It makes me happy to look at it. And we need some railway track to actually go in front of the train station. And we're going to be putting these smooth pieces here and ramps up and down so that the little boy can safely cross the railroad tracks. <laughs> Perfect. And of course it's super duper cold and it's snowing. So we will put our white Lego pieces down for the snow. And now I don't know what we're doing. So I'm just going to have to pay attention to where these go and what they do. Oh, I see. Okay. So these are going to be the boom gates on either side of the tracks, which go up when it's safe to go past. Thank you, little fellow, for showing us that. And back down again when it's not. And another lamppost? No, a sign. Railway cross crossing here. Good. Okay, two of them. And we've actually got four sections of rail, but this set's actually designed to go with the train from last year, the Winter Village Christmas train. So that will that will definitely make it a very exciting set to actually have a train. Okay, speaking of vehicles, which I was with a train, but now we're building the bus, a little yellow bus with four seats. So we'll put the driver in and the, and the boy in the back. He has to stand up, which is not very safe because his legs don't bend. <laughs> Anywho, let's just hope the driver drives very safely in the wintry weather. We'll give him some wheels soon, but we've got to finish the rest of the outside and the structure of the actual bus. So let's do that. Oh, look at those headlights. Aren't they lovely? And more wreaths on the side. They're all decked out for Christmas. It's definitely such a wonderfully quaint, old fashioned style bus. We're putting in lots of windows in now. There we go. And now we just need to smooth over the top so that we can easily take the roof when we build it on and off so we can access inside. I love that cute little door up there next to the driver. So the stoplights at the back with a number plate and we're going to have a number plate on the front. We're going to have, oh, this is the bus number and we need four wheels. And we are almost there. What's this? Oh, this is the number plate for the front. It's kind of off to the side. I don't know why that is, but it'll have something to do with the style of the vehicle and not wanting to block something. Okay, roof time. And there's some storage area here on the roof, which is cool. You can put your bags up here and I've got the wrong 
end pieces here. I need those lattice work ones and I've actually put them inside the bus instead of the smooth ones. So let's put the smooth ones inside the bus where they're supposed to be. And now we can put these latticey ones up on the top on our cargo area on the roof. There, that looks absolutely marvellous. Now all we need is some cargo. And because it's the Christmas season, we need some Christmas presents. There we go. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Now we're up to bag number two. There are actually six bags that are numbered two, so there are going to be a lot of pieces. But let's see how that goes over the crossing. Beautifully. The driver obviously drives okay too. All right. Bag number two brings us two more minifigures, a barista, so that's the person who makes your coffee, if they make it with a proper espresso machine and they do a good job and put crema in it and make the top nice and frothy and do fancy patterns. And this guy here, who is our ticket master, he is very professionally attired. Let's put them all the way back here because we need to start on our actual station. Now you can see that the platform sits up off the ground, of course, because it has to be at the height where the train doors are, and also because of snow, I suppose. We've got some drippy, melty bits of snow here on the edge of the station. That's so decorative. What a fabulous use of Lego I've put. There's something still wrong here with my platform. Oh, that's it. It's all one, one brick too far back. That's better. Oh, good. The platform has got a mailbox, so we'll put the mail in it and... Oh, a lovely Christmassy sticker on it. Wonderful, it's always good to have mail at the station. And now we've got something that's gonna go on a hinge with some hooks here and a chain with microphones in it. I put them in the wrong way around. Oh, look at that, that's an ingenious way to make the chain and the microphones are the little balls on the top. Oh, so cool, Lego is so cool. That's just fantastic. All right, next little square has got a nice checkerboard pattern on it. We've got some fancy tiling going on up here. And can you see the ticket master standing down there in the snow? That's where he's gonna have to go down to actually get onto the train. And we've got a bench now so that the passengers who are waiting have got somewhere comfortable to sit while they wait. There we are. We can have a nice old chin wag while they wait. And now we need a couple of little, well, the things that you need at a station, coffee, newspapers, place where you can get your tickets. <laughs> well, I think it needs a vending machine too, but it's too old fashioned to have a vending machi machine. No chips for you. <laughs> no soft drink for you either. You can have a coffee though, because it is very, very cold. Here we are, time to make the thing that makes the coffee, otherwise known as an espresso machine. It's got, there's its handle, oh look at that, what a great use of that new piece. There we go, coffee machine's in, barista's in, the coffee bar is open for business. And, well it's not quite yet, because we haven't finished building the rest of that, but, but the coffee machine's there and that's all you really need. Now this is the ticket area, look, see there's a slot underneath where you can actually slide the ticket through. So if the bus driver wants a ticket, he can come here. The ticket master's on the other side. He can push the ticket underneath the window. That's so awesome. Oh, and this is what they're serving at the cafe. Cafe O'Slay. There are Hope Ho Coco, Cafe Milano, Santa's Eggnog, and Sugar Cookies. They've all got little decimal points next to them, so they must all only be worth cents. So 50 cents, 75 cents. There's also newspaper on sale here. That's good to read while you're on the train because I don't think they have eye devices in the Winter Village. It's way too old fashioned for that sort of thing. So you've got to read a book or a newspaper. Here's another newspaper. I've never had that sort of newspaper before. Wow, that's cool. So two different types of newspapers 
and coffee and lots of choices here. The older lady has come in and she's ordered a cafe au lait. Actually, I don't even know that that was on the <laughs> whether that was on the recipe sheet. <laughs> we'll have to have another look. But sugar cookies sound pretty delicious. So here we go, another sticker. Oh, tickets! So there's our ticket sign, so you know where to queue to get your tickets. And I've left a piece off here. There we go. That's why that wasn't all the right height. Good, it's always good to find these things out before you finish the actual set. <laughs> you get to the last piece and discover it doesn't work properly. Okay, lovely, lovely door. A very nice door. With a golden doorknob. And there's our inside and we've got, it, it all sits very nicely. It's very well decked out little train station. And for our tiled area there, we're going to get quite a fancy entryway by the look of it. Where people can gather under cover too if they need to, if there's not enough seating area while it's snowing, or raining, or sleeting, <laughs> and all the other things it does when it's really cold. Alright, we're doing brilliantly. We're putting the roof on now building up the roof area and it all has to be peaked. What's that? Why is there this strange green thing up in the roof? I suppose we'll find out as we go. Oh, it all has to be peaked so that the snow can fall down off it, probably onto the people standing under it. <laughs> so don't stand under it or under the peaked end. Oh there, look, the Winter Village sign. So the Winter Village Station. Right, Winter Village Station. Stopping at all stops to North Pole. Mind the doors when they're opening. Oh, look at that one. Look at that big peaked roof. I just think it's going to fall down on that guy who's waiting to get his ticket. <laughs> More wreaths. Where are we putting these gorgeous wreaths? Oh, they're going around the door. That's so merry and bright. Okay, the entryway is getting really, really fancy now. So let's see what's going on the top of it. Looks like, looks like it could be a blow-up Santa, <laughs> but that wouldn't be appropriate for the old-fashioned style of this. The oldie winter village station. It's not actually, we've just caged him in if he is, so definitely not. But there are hooks on all sides there, so it'll be interesting to see what goes on those hooks. Oh, here we go, we're going up, 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 and we're finishing with a square on the top. Huh. Oh, clocks! So it is the clock tower for the Winter Village Station, so no matter where you're standing on the platform, you can know what the time is by looking up at the clock. And all those clocks at least tell the same time, so that's going to be useful too. <laughs> and we'll know whether the train arrives on time. Very important. And now we have got our peak up here, and one just fell off, on our clock tower of the station and I think we're almost done except for a few stickers so we've got oh here we go here's our information board so North Pole to from Bricksburg we're going to Snow Valley from Tile Town we got two of these with the same information on them which is good because you wouldn't want conflicting information where do we put them it's supposed to go there and I've put that uh, that 10 bit brick around the wrong way so there we go, a little bit of deconstruction and reconstruction, and now we can put our timetable over here in the waiting area. Good, where does the other one go? Oh, it goes over here in the ticket office, on the inside of the ticket office. Okay, that's not overly useful for people on the outside. There's a broom, and this looks like it might be a little Christmas tree stored away in the attic of the coffee shop. That's so cute, and the lampposts now go on either end of the station and the station is complete, except of course we need some actual train tracks, <laughs> and preferably a train. So I will I'll go and see if I can find my train, I only just had it out for Christmas. Alright, we'll put the trees over here so that they're not in the way of the bus as it goes over the crossing. That's so awesome! Okay, bring on the train! Here we go, toot 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 toot! And we need a few more carriages. We're going to need a lot more track as well. But this is just a fun setup. I'll set it up properly for next Christmas for you. And we'll play with it. There goes the train. It's past the crossing now, so the bus can come through. I 
actually the bus is going to be really useful for anybody from the winter village who wants to actually get here to the train station. So I think I'm going to use it as our main layer of transport to get to the train station and then the train station obviously to get on the train is to go to places far far away like the North Pole apparently according to the destination sheet. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the build. Do make sure you subscribe. Do make sure you click thumbs up. Do make sure you click that little notification bell because that way you do get told when new videos are coming up and I'll see you with a new one really really soon. Happy New Year everybody!